Hey guys, so we're going out for dinner tonight and my family's taking me out. It's actually my birthday today, um, 47. And this will probably date this footage for those of you who, who know me. Um, I know I don't look 47. I know that's gonna come as a shock to a lot of you. But um, that is correct, pretty sure, 47. So we've come up to a um, big shopping centre called the City Centre, which is um, right on the edge of the Peri Perico, um, on the north side of Merida. This is kind of walking distance to where we're staying, you know, Montebello. So it's a seafood restaurant called Sinaloita, and we've seen some recommendations that it's pretty amazing food. Um, so we wanna we wanted to give it a go. So we'll bring you some look some of the dishes. Have a look at the price, because price is always important when you when you're here eating. But um, yeah, we'll just um, we'll, we'll we'll give it a review, and um, you guys can leave some comments down below. We'll also leave the link. All right, see you. Okay guys, so um, got to the table and they brought us a little bit, a little cup of um, shrimp broth, really tasty, a couple of little bickies and that sort of stuff I guess, and a little mango and tequila shot, complimentary on the house, we'll do the, the um, multiata style um, tamarind goo around the front, so that was good. Um, as, as an entree we've, we've got the um, tacos sinaloita, which is the tacos of the house, um, so I'm not sure exactly what's in that because it doesn't describe it. Um, I'm guessing there'll be some shrimp and maybe some chicken in there as well. You get a little bit of guacamole, if that's what you're into. So, all right, <coughs> let me just um, let me just let me just try this for you guys. And it is. Oh, it's nice and warm. Not sure what that top, on on top. There's a bit of a sauce, a bit of an orangey sort of sauce. Yes, sir. Mm. Okay. So it's a little bit cheesy, actually. Um, there's some shrimp, actual, actual, actual proper full shrimps in in there, um, and it's got a real kind of burnt, a um, charred sort of flavour to it as well. It's, it's, it's like almost like um, croutons or bacon on the top or something like that. But um, <coughs> mm, look, uh, the tacos sinaloita, yeah, very tasty. Champions. I, I do reckon. Oh, champions. Mushrooms. Ah, oh, okay. So there's a little bit of mushroom in here as well. That's interesting. I like. I, like the, I do like mushroom and seafood. So, hmm. All right, guys. We'll um, we'll let you know when we come back with the um, the mains. I can't remember what our main what our mains were. It was camarones al gusto. So the ha happy shrimp meal and torre um, sinaloita. Or so. No idea what it is because we couldn't get it on the on the description. But it'll be, oh, it'll be interesting as well. It's here. Right, it's, talk here. To you guys soon. it's here. It's here. It's here already. It's Whoa. here. Oh my god, it's here already. Oh. <coughs> Torres in a Luida? Yes. Oh wow. Ooh, yeah. Check it out. It's pretty impressive. <coughs> mm. Okay. So do you want to try it now? No. I'm no tacos. I'm no tacos first. <coughs> well, um. Well, <coughs> we'll, we'll, we'll come back to you guys in a minute and we'll, um, we'll get into this Torres in Loita, um, which is a kind of like a seafood stack with a bit of avocado and stuff on top and also our uh, Camarones al Gusto um, so they'll be back by the time you're, by the time you're back and um, we'll talk to you soon alright, cheers ok guys, so finished <laughs> finished the um, the entrees which is Tacos in Loita. you know what, really nice really nice um Definitely recommend those. Okay, so this dish here is Torre Sinaloita, which tells me nothing. Um, it's like a stack, I guess. Um, I'm not sure what it's, it's sitting on. I think it might be sitting on some pepino, um, which is which is like cucumber. Um, I'm not sure what this this stuff around the side is, right? Taste of cabbage. Um, work way up. There's some red onion on the on the stack. We got some shrimp. Um, we got what do we got here? Pina. Well, yep, some some pina, which is pineapple, but it's it's very different. And then you've got the um, avocado on top, which is the aquawate. And he just warned me. He said, "Hey, this sauce up here, which is a garlic sauce." We said, 
that's very hot, right? So you see, just be careful with that. Meh, okay. Um, sauce around here, I'm assuming some sort of vinaigrette, right? Yep, okay, so that'll be a really interesting dish, and we'll tuck into that in a minute. Um, this one over here, the camarones al gusto. So, happy shrimps, I, I guess. Shrimps of the day, um, with some veggies and a little, little stack of rice. You can see that have been done here. Looks like a little bit of chili oil, um, which which will be interesting. So I'm just going to take a bite of this one. Mm, mm. So it's a chili oil, but the, the chili is only a is only a background flavour. Um, somehow they've dumbed that down. I'm not sure how they've done that, but it's really interesting. So I'll share that bit of oil, um, which is which is kind of like a smoky barbecue flavour. But the background chili oil um, is it, it doesn't hit you to the back of your palate, and it's not it's not overbearing at all. So, you know what, your kids could probably eat eat that. This one over here, yeah, garlicky, bit more, bit more garlicky. So, anyway, guys, we're gonna we're gonna look forward to tucking into these. Um, and we'll have a look and we'll see if we've got any room for dessert. We probably won't, but you, you never know. Um, I'll give you Selena and I'll probably give you some feedback on her favourite dish, and um, we'll have a look at the bill. All right, cheers. Hey guys, so you know what? I'm absolutely stuffed. Um, eyes are bigger than our stomach, or mine definitely were. Selena bailed out early and left me to finish all the all the good bits of the two dishes. So let's let's do a bit of a recap on that on that food. Turned up, they gave us a little shot of tequila with a mango in it, and with the, you know it was really nice. Um, a little a little cup of seafood broth, <clears throat> great. That was before we sat down. You have a few chips and some things. Um, we ordered the, 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 the tacos of the house, basically. Tacos Sinaloita, um, with, which was a mix, a mix of tacos with, with a bit of melted cheese on it and some seafood sauce, I think. You know what? And some like... Um, Stop pooping Crispy, some, some, some crispy, um, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, like barbecued flavor, smoky. Really good. Check Meaty f filling, they had prawns in them as well. Um, if you were here on, ladies, if you were here on a date and you just had those three tacos, that, that'd be it. It's all you'd want to do. You don't want to eat too much. Yeah, that was, so that's just like an entree, but it could easily be a main for, for most of you. So, so then, then we ordered the um, uh, toro, toro sinaloita and also camarón, camarones al, al gusto. So, um, Let's talk about the Torre Sinaloita. We didn't know what it was actually, because no, nothing's in English, by the way, and we we just couldn't be bothered pulling out the phone trying to do like vocab. So we punted it. So that was so that was a stack that was that was over here. It was stacked about this high. Um, once we started eating it, it's basically a ceviche stack. So in on the bottom, you know, swimming, swimming, or in in a, in a sea of this vinaigrette, which is really nice. Um, Cucumber on the bottom. It was octopus um, on the bottom there. You sort of work your way up. I'm sure there was some crab or lobster in there as well. Um, so uh, shrimp and, and or, or prawns that were you know ceviche style, so not cooked. And then there was like a big thick layer, like kind of like I guess for all those engineers out there, kind of kept the stack together in the middle, which was tuna. Now that was really good. You know, raw tuna done ceviche style was amazing. Um, by the time we get up, you know the prawns and things, and the, then they had the avocado on top with the gar with the hot garlic sort of sauce. Um, there was also some pineapple in there, it was like very very sweet pineapple. It was almost mangoey. Um, so I'm not sure if it's a different breed of pineapple over here. I've never had it before. Um, really soft, um, same sort of texture as mango a bit, but it is pina. It was pineapple, so that was really good. So, so that dish, um, look, yeah, guys, you can easily share it with your partner. You know, if that's what you wanted to do. That was that was amazing. Um, Camarones al gusto. Yeah, look, uh, again, that was the prawns that were in the um, almost like a chili oil, uh, a little bit of barbecue flavour in there. Not really hot, just a nice little background flavour. Uh, so that was that was excellent. Look, um, everything is everything's been amazing. I'm, I'm about to get the bill, so we'll we'll um, we'll see how how that is. But um, I'll just look, pause it. Sorry, yeah, yeah. We're just gonna pause and we'll just grab the bill. Okay. Right, so, hold on, we'll take it through. Okay. Um, all right, welcome back. So um, we just got the bill sent over, and I'm using American Express, which is absolutely fine over here. But they've just got to get a different, a different machine that takes it. 
so um, all of that all of that meal with with six beers and three um, limonada natural, which is you know uh, soft drink lime lime style soft drink with with fresh limes in it. Um, all of that was um, one thousand four hundred pesos effectively. So on the exchange rate, Australian dollars at the moment, maybe one hundred and ten Australian. Um, you know for half a dozen beers and a few other bits and pieces, entrees and for both of us and some, and some things, create chicken nuggets of course. Um, you know what, not expensive, I don't think, I don't find that expensive, you know, a little bit of a hundred bucks. Sit down like, oh, look, we're, we are full, we're, we're, we're fully stuffed, so. Anyway guys, um, look, that's our, uh, that was it, that was my birthday meal at uh, Sinaloita. So look, I do recommend it, I'll leave the link in below. It's in the city centre, which is, Right on the edge of the Periferico, on the north side of Merida, up near the hospital. Um, you know, easy to find, easy to get a table. You can sit outside or you can sit inside. So, anyway, guys, all right, I will. Um, I'll talk to you later on. All right, see ya. See ya.